So today we are here to talk about pricing, the P in CPQ. Uh, pricing is usually the most complex part of the CPQ business process itself. Uh, most clients are actually pretty creative when it comes to pricing. Uh, they invent a uh, complex data model, a mathematical model to come up with uh, what they think is the right pricing for the market conditions. So we need a powerful system to be able to model uh, those uh, different uh, pricing models and that can become a challenge. And that's where CPQ can be uh, an excellent tool to, uh, to come uh, uh, to represent those uh, uh, mathematical model. Uh, out of the box, Deepwick is going to uh, handle most of the common use case. Uh, for example, uh, tier pricing, uh, which is pretty common. Uh, and uh, different uh, types and uh, mathem mathematical model for uh, discounting uh, your products. Uh, at the base, uh, pricing on a quote is a simple mathematical formula. You have a quantity, a unit price, and that gives you the total price for the item on the quote line. But your price can also uh, depend on multiple conditions in the quote. Um, market uh, segmentation, for example, that might have an impact. Uh, tier pricing, volume pricing. Uh, and if you sell on a SaaS model, so subscriptions, uh, the duration of the contract can also impact the level of pricing you're going to give to your clients. So the system should be able to handle multiple price levels through the calculation of the price for a product, going from generally a list price, which is the standard price for the product in your company, uh, all the way down to a net price that you want your clients uh, to pay you for. That net price then is also feeding your forecast and your pipeline. Uh, so you want your coding system to integrate very tightly uh, with uh, Salesforce opportunity uh, so that you can drive this forecasting uh, model. So pricing is also uh, tied to uh, your channel sales. Uh, you might sell only direct or you might sell through channel partners, uh, distributors, resellers, and so on. And your uh, coding application should be able to handle uh, your channel sales uh, seamlessly. Uh, Stabric CBQ offers you that possibility with two levels of uh, partners and channel sales on the same quotes for each quote line. Uh, that allows you to uh, uh, support a distributor plus reseller model or in a simplest model, just a single partner. Uh, the pricing and the discounting you're going to get to your partner uh, can be automated uh, or manually entered by the sales rep. Uh, one of the key goals of uh, CBQ is to control the level of discounting, whether it's a discounting to the client or to your partners. So you will want to uh, try to automate that level of discount based on your business role. It could be based on a product family a partnership level, like silver, gold, platinum. Uh, if you offer deregistration with bonus points for your partners, you can handle that pretty easily as well. So Stibwick gives you the possibility to go way beyond the uh, simple pricing, uh, where your price is just the quantity times the unit price. You will be able to vary the calculation based on some complex logic, complex matrices, uh, to come up uh, and uh, model uh, your sales policies. Another aspect is to look at how you price your products and services uh, between a new business deal, so acquiring a new client, and then how, if you are in the subscription business especially, how you're going to handle uh, add-ons, sales, upsells, and renewals over time. So you want a system that's uh, going to allow you uh, to control this information over time on a time base uh, and uh, control the pricing month after month or year after year uh, so that uh, you give uh, your clients the best pricing possible while preserving your margin. At the same time, it's important to be able to uh, 
uh, control this information in the context of discount approval, for example, or deal size, margin level. Uh, so you want to be able to tie uh, your pool process very closely to uh, the different pricing artifacts uh, at the quote level or at the quote line level. All this uh, kind of information can be processed with just point and click administration in Steelbrick CBQ. Many of our clients uh, want to present different options to uh, their end customers. Uh, think about it like a good, better, best approach. So you want to present a set of products and services uh, configured a certain way, uh, which could be uh, you know, what you, re you would recommend them, but you want to offer either an upsell option or uh, uh, if you think uh, that might uh, incite the client to close the deal, uh, present uh, a lower option. So that's pretty easy to do in Steelbrick CBQ where you can organize your information uh, you know, in groups and uh, allow you to discount differently within each group uh, or even at the quote line level. Uh, then you can produce a code that will present it, this information very clearly and uh, uh, allow you to push for the upsell aspect of it while at the same time presenting an option that will maximize your probability of closing the deal. When you sell your products and services as subscription, uh, it is very common to sell over multi-years. Uh, and in the context of selling over multi-years, your client might tell you that they want to ramp up or down the quantity of certain products and options through time. Uh, so it's very difficult to do that uh, uh, with a traditional coding tool Try to do that on an Excel spreadsheet, it's not obvious. Still, CPQ is going to facilitate the data entry and also all the calculations necessary to go from uh, uh, period to period based on the quantity uh, of uh, each product in each period, as well as give you the possibility to uplift the price or discount at a different level in each period of time. Uh, all this is done with just uh, uh, you know, quick data entry uh, so that you can uh, 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 prepare your code as quickly as possible. Uh, obviously, the document output is important to present the right information to your clients. So the document engine uh, needs to also be able to take uh, into account all the information coming from the quote and the quote line uh, so that uh, you can present only what is relevant uh, to your client. Uh, you need to design your quote template so that it becomes a selling tool to help you close the deals. Um, an example of what uh, uh, our clients uh, likes to do is that uh, they are going to conditionally uh, display information on the document output based on the context of the quote or the products you have been quoting that can drive uh, your terms and conditions dynamically um, so that if you are trying to sell a specific product, uh, your legal, legal department might have the need for a specific uh, fine print for that specific product and the document engine is going to automatically take that into account. Uh, from a pricing perspective, uh, you would very likely want to hide, for example, a discount column if you are not willing to give a discount to your clients. You don't want them to come back to you and uh, tell you, well, you forgot my discount, so where is it? So uh, the document engine allows you to tie to all this pricing information coming from the quote to present the most relevant inf information. Thank you for your time today. Again, my name is Gilles Mus, and if you need more information, um, contact uh, Simplus at Simplus now, and they will forward uh, your request to Salesforce Libre.